What? <laughs> and hello there, and this is King of Johnny. Always Johnny. And I'm here to talk to you about, you know, the new event. All right. So a lot of people don't quite get it or don't understand it or want to become top 10 or top 20 but you know don't really know the actual effects and stuff like that i'm here to tell you how it all works and how you can possibly you know participate or best participate in this event let's go okay so you first see first everything you do is you claim a free white rose seed now i can't claim it because i've got one already but when you claim it it will look like something like this do do, do white rose seed you'll place them in a place like this and it takes a very 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 long time and when you do you want to use the advanced fertilizer you don't want to use anything lower than it because you want a maximum yield of white flowers Obviously, as you can see here, my berry thing or my yield isn't at maximum because I slapped and used a green, basically, you know, a green fertilizer. So if you use a green fertilizer, it won't max out, as you can see there. On this one, this one's completely utterly maxed out. And how this event works is you go to crush in and you just, if the information is all there, but I'm basically gonna just paraphrase it for you. So both players are going probably a five points. So basically it's five points each um, donation to a player. The player also will have to, um, so yeah, player would be at five points each time and you only be able to do the same player five times. So it's a maximum per player, 25 points and that's five white flowers each. I hope that makes sense. So with that said, you don't all want to go for number one okay you can try if you want to but really 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 and truly this is a time to show and love respect your your leaders because in this game cap leaders work hell of a lot like flipping crazy organization doing things all sorts so you really want to focus on your leader and for that VZ is um, number one in Luna Clan is basically leading that at the second. And then you've got second place, which is Doomy. So if you're trying to get, you know, top one or top five or top ten, by giving it to other people, you're just hindering your leader. And then you're not even going to win anyways. Do you know what I mean? So my suggestion is just go for, you know, your participation reward, which is reach 30 points or whatever that's fine makes sense that's all cool but after that literally just focus on your leaders okay you may want heart throb or sweetheart type thing but only the leaders should be going after that because the white flowers will just be wasted i can't say this enough it's just a waste okay um so yeah so you let's look at how about how to get like basically more white flowers so more white flowers you can only get them via you know a pay to win technique which is fed credits it's 30 each and it's five a day okay so if you want to max out and you want to make sure that you give flowers to everyone you ever need and max out on your leader but also max out on your partner because this is a great way to get your friendship points up then i highly suggest just buying a lot of these out and um yeah just really focusing on your partner not even anyone else just your partner because um higher your friend points the more you can trade at gathering 48 which is very very important okay now how to actually farm it now this is a different thing altogether now this this is if you i've gonna i was gonna do a video on this but you know it's gonna have to happen later but yeah the best way to get yield in this is to do it in the spring now it's not spring right now it's sunny fall so let's have a look winter's next winter again then spring spring is in four days so that would be on friday saturday sunday when next monday comes that's going to be the best day to do your white flowers you could stack them all up and then get really great yield and then send them all to your partner now if you're just focusing your partner and you're not doing anything with your leader and it just doesn't matter you just want to get your friend points 
to the max's highest level then you wait till spring don't plant any of your white flowers at all then put them on on monday coming plant them all blue fertilizer all that jazz and then harvest them all on that same day and just keep doing that all day that will be the best way to do it all right because um that's that's how this farming thing works it's on a sunny day as well which is great so that means nothing affects it as well so that's um i've told you how to best way farming to get that but now the next part that not a lot of people know about now for you to do this you need to be electric all right you need to be electric period in your camp or your clan if you don't know what that is then um definitely check out jcs video about you know camps and everything about camps should be on the top right just giving out my boy a shout out for free today you know because i feel like it now um so yeah you want to go to energization energization do 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 and then you want to go to not that one you want to put it on the armor sorry about that go to this and you want to go to pirate it now it's only by five percent five percent it's really not a lot at all so let's just go ahead and do that to maximum just for devis just for just just showcasing and then after that you want to hit another buff after that now the best buff for critical in my opinion is this one here okay because it mentions you know critical rate for hemp and it goes to 20 percent for a primary resource i believe the flower is a primary resource but you know it, it doesn't even matter because then you've got the secondary which is also at 10 percent. there is no third i believe secondary is blue and primary is green but uh or green and gray but hey i could be wrong about that that i haven't spent time studying so once you've done that and you've done your arm and it's energized to give you that extra critical and you've eaten the food which i'm just about to do in a second there's only one more other step you need to do one more other step do this skill here to maximum this when you gather hemp is telling you how much hemp you're gonna gather in general and this is saying seven so that means seven white flowers a lot of people don't know this basic thing because it flowers come under hemp so you want to get the seven and then if you want to get the crit you want to do this skill right here all right so it's not by a lot but you want to have this at max as possible because you're only going to get a few chances on this completely i can't do this right now because i'm trying to make a certain armor so i need the skill points because skill points is an issue for me right now but i'm going to showcase it before i touch the white flowers what this can actually do and how often it will do if you do it correctly just remember my crit can still be higher but again it's just a chance thing so the technology buff before i started that let me just mention that really quickly as well so this one farmland the output increased five percent for every additional crop type you collect the first time up to a maximum of 25 percent now this thing if you're going to get so let me just go back to home now now i'm going to use wheat as a good example since i can do it more often if you do not fertilize or do anything to the wheat it tends to give you about I don't know 10 9 whatever but if you have the technology skill on it will start going to 18 17 or if it all go to 13 14 stuff like that it goes up quite high the higher the number the higher the percentage um, will basically yield you whatever you need for example if you're only getting one of something and you're getting five percent five percent of one is still one so on trees it's kind of pointless as you see plus one technology one it's completely utterly pointless it is more for things like this that you get a big bunch of as you can see here as you can see i've not crit once yet which is just really dreadful have i even taken the buff i have taken the buff but it's just not getting great right now <laughs> so i'm gonna do this but i tend to do this first like gather all of these and just increase my rate of critical but it's just not happening it's getting so deep right now but yes the technology does work with the crit by the way which hopefully i'm gonna need to show you but it's not showing you that sucks so basically that comes under the same category you just gather this and then as you can see if you're lucky enough damn it you don't get it so i got eight and that was because of the boosted the technology and that was maximum but if you get a crit which i have gotten before 
8 at plus 8 is 16 all right so all you got to do is focus on getting this to plus 8 after that you just got to hope for the crit and for your to increase that crit rate you've really just got to maximize your percentage you've just that's all you've got to do there's nothing really else here that will do that because uh, everything else is very specific on what specific item so that's not really going to help you but this one here will and this one here will okay so the, the one where the strength power is where i'm clicking now and the one on the very top there that's going to help you too all right so this is king of trying to trying it here trying to show you how this event works again my suggestion is focus on your clan leaders do not be selfish i know i know everyone wants former shows everyone wants a reward everyone wants a title i completely utterly get that but you gotta think of the future people anybody watching this think of the future if there's an alliance you're working with and they want their leader to get top five and stuff like that that alliance is more important than any of your other members in there that are trying to get top the formula shards in there are good but it's not worth you know breaking anything else that could possibly help you in the future of things i hope i explained that really really well i hope i haven't missed anything and i hope this video has been a great great help to you i really do anyways this is king of trying it oh he's trying it i'll see you in the next one bye bye and before you go and before you just go skedaddle on to a next video of some sort you want to know that tomorrow i am doing a competition i have not done a competition in a very very long time i'm very very close to 2k subs so i thought you know why not boost that rate and make that hype happen right now so basically from today and tomorrow and um, the people that donate white flowers to your kingdom trying it will basically get into the running of getting a free costume off me basically how i would do it for people that are not sure like free costume you ain't got the power to do that all right so i'm going to showcase the power of costumes and how to kind of gift them so you can buy the costume if you want to but you can press the gift button and actually give it to the player you select let me select honza and then i can just gift it just like that instantly a full suit of your choice to whatever you want and it will cost me 1280 fed credits but it will cost you nothing okay now to win this guaranteed for you to be the focused person to get this is whoever sends me the most white flowers period okay so if one person only participates in this competition tomorrow and shows me on a discord my discord which will be in the description below my discord just go in there you know dm me and then just show, and then screenshot basically how many white flowers you have basically given basically me basically king and trying it and obviously the higher number basically wins it's just that simple all right you also got to be subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel when i go live tomorrow and i'm giving away and you are not there you're gonna miss out so you might want to be there all right so basically the competition will go live on Ah, it's I get it confused with the server time. So the server time is eight o'clock. So my time will be six. Okay, so I'll be going live six, but you just pay attention to the in-game life after server time at eight, and then we should be able to set you up with a Gucci Gucci costume. Alright, so I hope that makes sense. I hope that it wasn't too confusing. If there's any confusion, just comment below and I'll try to answer a few questions to clear it up. I don't do competitions very often, so um, I'm still working towards that crazy, you know, professional YouTube life and trying to give you guys more content, more fun and more try in action. Anyways, hope you well. Wish you the luck. Hope you win. I will only be picking one winner, so give it your best shot. I'll see you in the next one.